<coughs> Hi, um, this evening we're looking at making a, a saw scabbard, the start of it, the start of the process. Um, the process does start actually with determining what kind of bronze ends you're going to use. Um, <coughs> you don't have to use bronze ends at all, but if you choose to use those, <coughs> they are actually a functional bit that holds your scabbard together nicely for you, the top and the bottom, so they do serve a purpose. I mean, they, they like bind up the two halves of a wooden core, so they're they're more than just decorative thing. They actually do a job. Um, yeah, so we've had these bronze fittings brought in um, in advance of making the wooden liner, the wooden core of the scabbard, because once you know what you've brought, internal dimensions. So you're looking at the you know the, how wide it is this way and this way on both the items then all your the wooden core then can fit that it's no good trying to make the wooden core to just some random um, size that you just like the look of really with no purpose to it because um, it's it'd be a really difficult job then to buy appropriate ends bronze ends um, the chances are you'll get a pair that match and a pair that you'd like just to some random thing all by chance is like really asking a, a big ask so you know it's, it's, never, it's not going to happen really so buy your bronze ends or fittings first <clears throat> then you can um, obviously they're going to fit any sword within reason so you don't worry about what sword you've got to fit the scabbard fittings it's just a matter of getting them first and then you can work around what that's going to predetermine. So, so this top throat here is is perhaps a bit wider than what you would have guessed it being. Look, I mean, you've ended up with a lot of land here. Because how wide the wood's going to be to fit this? Um, I shouldn't imagine. I wouldn't have made it as big as this by just guessing it. Um, you know, you'd have had it. You know quite a bit thinner than that at least a third off of there so yeah so that's that's it's not a bad thing we know that now so we can't go wrong we've got that that's determined that and then by the same token adversely to this we've ended up with because we've got this one this has been chosen in by our customer they're a nice pair they look good together in the same style etc which has ended up with being on the slightly on the narrow side then perhaps you'd have left a little bit more area here to make it a little bit stronger so um this is well that's just a straight line between the two i might have to play around with giving it a bit more width to keep the strength in there like this but this is what you know in, in from a to b that's what it gives you is quite a very wide top and quite a <coughs> excessively narrow bottom so to fit this one because as i say this is determining what it's got to be, otherwise it won't fit in the leather core with the leather, the wooden core with the leather binding around it. <coughs> so yeah, so just thought I'd share that um, with you. I've made half a dozen of these saw scabbards now over the last several years, and um, that's definitely the way to go. Is get your bits first, basically. And then you can play around with the wooden core to suit what you just brought, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is going to be the um, your saw is going to go in these between these two tracks, and this will be channeled out. So I'm probably going to get a saw and run a straight line down over the saw. It'll be quite difficult in in a straight line. To get a square edge and then like use a chisel to like, gouge it all out for a bit of, quite a bit of work um it can be done it's been done before but it's, it's quite um quite a big job um to get to do it quite neatly so it'd be like two of these just be like say this would be the bottom and there'd be a pair there'd be a top one over the top this is the cover so they're like kind of like n shapes and u shapes together making like a little bridge each side with like a hollowed core obviously in the middle to 
slide your sword in and out. Um, we might have enough room on here to put like a, a a wall liner in part of this, which has got a nice touch. They might have done that to out keep the blade. Um, they stop the stop the blade rusting because it would pass through like the lanolin that would be still present in the um, wall, and that can take up any loose play that you might have. You can make it a bit on the big side, and that wall can like take up the slack and do the job of cleaning the blade, keeping it like dry, giving it like a tiny little oil coat, and each time it goes in and out, I might might be able to do that. Depends how much. Um, so we've definitely got enough air on the side for some wall. We'll see. That's just a, a small point there, really. But yeah, so the two of these, a left and a right pair, making up you know two halves, which we're going to bind with leather, sew down the back. The as I just said, the actual fittings are more than decorative. If they do help hold the two halves of your core together. And that's that will function as a, a thing there and that one at the top of course that's going to be on there doing a, a job of work as well as looking pretty up there and then um yeah so that's that's how we go there that's the way i do that and um if anyone's got any comments or suggestions on this and if they'd like to share anything with me as i'm doing this as we go uh, there would be a process of these in a series of these little videos posted that you might want to take something from or add to you know share any of your experiences if you've got any that you'd like to share with us and um in the 20s we can make a better scabbard really as a as a collective i thought you know by um showing you what i'm doing and you can like put your tuppence worth in you know and call me up where i'm going wrong if you've got any good ideas so yeah that's the point of this really and yeah thanks very much for watching and uh I'll speak to you soon with another video. Cheers. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.